My name is Fernando Chacon. I graduated from Indiana University School of Law. A week later, officially, I had three hours to go and I had to do it through correspondence. So my degrees show that I graduated from law school one year after I graduated from UTEP. For the Chicano Studies program, we wanted more, we wanted better, we wanted bigger, we wanted more professors, Mexican-American professors to come and teach. Uh, we, we, there was a lot of them that we thought were being unfairly denied tenure, and, and, and so we, we, we worked with these things. We also wanted uh, more assistance for studying and, and more grants, um, more facilities for, for us to be in the university and make the transition. And I think the university was responding well, but you know, it was all, always like an uphill climb. The impact that, that the movement, the Chicano movement had at the university was great. We had a lot of, uh, we, we took a lot of inroads and, and we can see now that, uh, that it was a, a necessary step that we had to take. There was a good step and it was a learning process for everybody. The most important thing that we did was, was uh, create awareness. We put together the first uh, electrical doors for the handicapped at the Student Union building. And after that, uh, uh, I think uh, Larry uh, had a great big part in spreading awareness because he was handicapped himself. And so we passed the bill and I also had my own fund. At that time we had lots of money for the Student Association. I think we had a budget of $80,000 and I had a personal budget of $4,000. So I used some of my, my uh, budget to, to buy the soccer team uniforms because they were they were being funded by the university at the time. Dr. Natalis has done an excellent job, a great, great job. We're I'm very I'm very proud of the university. I'm proud to, to be here. I'm proud to be associated with UTEP and and uh, I think it's grown in the in a great direction. It's growing exponentially and uh, we could we could become a tier one university and, and we'd probably be the best.